What's going on YouTube? Drama D here. Had the day off. Thought I'd give you guys a quick update. This is the second video that I've made today. Um, I'm going to try to go through this real fast. This way I don't have a 40 minute video. So if I'm going too fast I apologize. I just feel like people don't want to see a 45 minute video. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start out with the lens kit on. Just give you guys a quick look at the tank. Things are going up and down. So was are doing their thing. Uh, torches and euphilias had a crash, as well as the acans. But this one's unaffected. That one in the back there is recovering. A new Yuma back there, some Donnie's. Mainly Zoas, some Blasso's up here in the front. More Zoas, blah, 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 blah. So just want to share with you guys, kind of let you guys see the color. I'd say the color is a little bit oranger than what I'm seeing. I'd say turn it a little bit more pink and uh, we're right there. But there's a look at the tank. Um, in my previous video, you guys, where I had asked... <coughs> Uh, what you guys wanted to see only one person commented Saying maybe do a look at the sump So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a walk through the sump as quick as I can and then show you what I've done with the frag tank just to give you guys an update share with you guys and Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna take the lens kit off. Let's look at the tank. Okay, so everything's doing fine It's 1 30 in the afternoon here in California, so Go ahead and take the lens kit off and we'll look at the sump. It's the Reaping Art lens kit as well. This comes with extra five lenses or something like that instead of three. Uh, so here we go. We got my dish towel or washcloth. I use this specifically to wipe down the sump when I'm done making a mess. Here we got a little foam block. This is actually supposed to go in the return section. I have some poly filter in there right now to remove any contaminants that may be in the system. This is a Skims UP32 sump. It has a two and a half gallon ATO, dual sock holder, uh, skimmer section, and return. I do not use the ATO. This skimmer, or excuse me, this sump was on my 150 gallon cube. It sprung a leak somewhere in the back middle I replaced that sump with a Triton 32 sump and took this one and cleaned it up like brand new and resealed every single seam the ATO section no longer leaks anymore but I just don't trust it to use it so it is empty uh, it does have a cover as well as a sock holder so this is a dual sock. Water comes down, flows into the first sock, that comes up, flows into the second sock. I do have a bag of carbon in there right now uh, because I felt like there was a contaminant in the system, so I'm running some poly filter and some carbon. Hopefully, that gears it up. <clears throat> so, just 200 micron socks change them out every three to four days or when they start to overflow not longer than that so in the back there in the skimmer section I have my apex probes I have all four probes conductivity ORP pH and the temperature probe so conductivity probe is not calibrated will not calibrate so it's useless the ORP probe is there it's going to be re-swapped out with a second pH probe for a future video and the pH probe which will be replaced just because it's so old right next to that I have my neotherm heater I believe it's 150 watt uh, it was here where this inch and a half line is and here's a little cap you stick the heater in there and this is the cord holder but I took it out of there and put it in the skimmer section to make room for this drain line for the frag tank. So the drain line's in here. 
all the plumbing is ran but nothing is glued that is what I will be doing today after this video so moving right along I got the FC80 uh, skimmer by Aquamax so far it's all right I've had it for six months and as long as you keep uh, keep the neck clean on it you know it functions pretty well uh, the one thing I do notice is once the neck starts getting dirty you got to kind of take that little adjustment knob and turn it an eighth of a turn and uh, every day to get that consistent skin mate so every day I come do my alkalinity test I give that thing a little eighth of a turn end of the week pull the whole cup dump it clean it put it back turn the fucking excuse my language the adjustment valve back about an inch for the whole week's uh, eighth of a turns so it works pretty good I do need to pull the pump out pull the skimmer apart clean the pump as well as the return pump just pull it out do that six month eight month uh, maintenance on it pull it out take it apart clean it so down here in the bottom I have my frag disc and plugs uh, plates it's a variety of discs, plugs and plates. I'm not going to get into who makes them or what they are, but I throw them in here just to get that uh, biofilm going on them. Uh, some of them have been in there for six months. Some of them have been in there for a couple weeks. So anytime I use a new frag plug or disc, I try to pull out of here, replace them as needed, blah, blah, blah. So moving on. We got the Marine Pier bricks. There were two 8 by 8 by 1 inch Marine Pier bricks. I did have one here and one here. Uh, they were taking up a lot of room. I decided to just break them in half, dip them, rinse them off in some uh, tank water from a water change, and throw them back in here. Kind of freed up a lot more room over here in the return section, as well as the skimmer section. Uh, haven't broke them and I just use them for extra biological uh, filtration because I have minimal rock in here and the second brick was added because of the frag tank so they're in there they're doing their thing I uh, do not have them under the skimmer just due to vibration from the skimmer I didn't want them uh, vibrating the, the bio bricks into mush we all know they get brittle over time so Disregard all the tubing, all that, whoa, what's going on there with all this routed tubing? That's going to get rerouted and cleaned up, cut back, shortened up. Um, it is what it is. Here's the return section. I do have some poly filter. I felt like there was a contaminant in my system. Got the poly filter in there to remove metals, ammonia, uh, reduce phosphates, nitrates. Uh, they turn certain colors if there's certain contaminants in your system. This one needs to be swapped out. It will be swapped out later today. And for one more poly filter, and then after that second run of poly filter, I will be putting this back in. So, got the uh, Varios 2 Octo Pump in there. Um, right next to it will be going another Varios 2 Octo Pump for the frag tank. There's the plumbing for the frag tank coming down, that little 45. In the back of the sump there, there's uh, some dosing lines. I am not using them yet. I don't have my four channel doser yet, the Kamor. But once that gets in my hands, I probably will be hooking that up. I don't know, we've kind of got a battle on which doser we're going with. But uh, inside there is the ATO. It's a Tunzi 3152, I believe, or maybe the 55. This is not the nano version, this is the full size. I do have them split up. This was taken off the 150, and I had split them up on different mags. See the floating ant with wings in there? I need to take that out. Just another thing, if you guys see uh, bugs that fall into your sump or something, I recommend you remove them as soon as possible, as soon as you see them. Just due to, you don't know why they died, if they were poisoned, that poison can get in your system. It is not a dip, the poison that, you know, I don't know why it died, but it could have died because it was poisoned. And that's floating in my sump, it's going into my system, so. 3152 by Tunzi, 
uh, it split up. I lost the little clips to mount them back together on the one. I do have a backup ATO. Um, so if this one ever takes a dump, I have a backup. Right here on the side is a Aquamax FRSE. Uh, it's got GFO in there. About two months ago, I had a GFO uh, or I had a phosphate issue. My phosphate's got up to 0.28. I threw that bad boy on there. It's down to 0.04. It's staying rock steady at 0.04. In the event that the phosphates drop for some reason below 0.03, I will be turning this off. It has its own pump. And uh, so that's the Aquamax. GFO I know is kind of like a band-aid fix, but you know what? I'm using it to maintain my phosphates for now, and it seems to be doing great. Moving right along, um, the return pump is tied into a manifold. If I could do this manifold over, I would put either the union ball valve there, or I would have ran the manifold completely separate or on its own pump. This way, when I turn power off for maintenance, the manifold can stay connected, stay turned on. The manifold is basically running my chiller, which is a 13th horsepower Aqua Euro chiller. And then it is also running my uh, Aqua Ultraviolet 15 watt UV sterilizer. So disregard the salt crate, there is a baby leak there. I still have not addressed that issue yet, but I do try to clean that thing up when I do water changes. So if I could do the manifold over, I would either put a ball valve right there next to that uh, union. This way I can turn that ball valve, shut water off to the system, and then just have it the return pump running through the manifold only. Or yeah, I got the the ball valve on the wrong one. I should have put it on that one. So my mistake, if I could do it again, it would be ran on its own pump specifically so I could put the return pump in feed mode, uh, have the manifold completely separate, maybe use that uh, backup uh, pump that's running the manifold as a backup for the actual tank. Um, my mistake, if I could do it again, that's what I would change. Have the return pump separate from the manifold or install a ball valve to shut the return water off to the display and have it running through the manifold on its own. Um, as far as the tubing, there's a gate in here. I removed the gate that controls the water level for the skimmer. I took that out because I wanted to operate the skimmer a half inch below recommended uh, minimum height. I feel like running it about a half inch below minimum height. The skimmer performs way better. However, once the frag system is hooked up, I will be adding more water volume to the sump, reinstalling the gate. So I will have to reroute all this tubing. This tubing is ran this way because I did not boil the tubing when I purchased it or when I installed it. So there was bends. I was trying to keep kinks out of the lines. Now that the tubing has had a chance to stretch out, break in. I will be shortening it up, maybe getting some type of uh, like a probe holder, but for lines and try to route everything a lot more cleaner. So all this mess of uh, vinyl tubing will be cleaned up, try to give the sump a more open look, easier to work on the return section. So in here in the return section, there will be another return pump. It is a Varios 2 return pump. I need to bust that out today. I will be gluing the dry pipe fittings for the frag tank. So let's take a look at that real fast. I'm trying to go real fast. I apologize if I'm going too fast. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer them as they come in, if any at all. So. Once again, guys, please leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, ask questions, comment. Let me know you're watching, dude, because nobody hits the thumbs up, nobody hits the thumbs down, nobody comments. Do you like the video? Do you not like the video? Are you a hater? Are you a troll? Let me know, dude.
because I get 25 views and three thumbs up. Two comments. Who am I? I'm nobody. But I like to hear some feedback, guys, so help me out here. Here's a control board. Once I install the second return pump, the one for the frag tank, it will be mounted just below this one. There's a Nero 5 uh, controller. Here's a Kessel controller. 18% color, 76 intensity. There's a Tunzi ATO controller. Behind this is a 832 energy bar. There is another 832 energy bar with the apex. Can you see the plumbing behind the TV? Try to make it look somewhat uninvasive. It is behind my TV. Whoa, what am I watching? Anyways, there's a frag tank. So, can you see the new mods? Got the frag rack in. As soon as I end this video, I'm going to start uh, gluing all the plumbing. I do have a true union ball valve for the drain. I know a gate valve is more precise, but they wanted 60 bucks for an inch and a half gate valve. Two week time for me to receive it, which is ridiculous. And uh, that's with Prime. So I paid zero dollars for that true union ball valve. It was donated donated to me by a good friend named Danny thank you Danny I appreciate it and I look forward to working on your system when you are ready so we are going with that it's just going to be to tune the drain uh, the return pump will be tuned via the DC Varios 2 controller uh, like I said it's only 15 gallons a bit overkill but maybe in the future I will be getting a 24 by 24 by 12 inch system. I don't know. It's up in the air. But there's a frag tank. Got me some acrylic rods from E Plastics, which is about 20 minutes away from me. Great deals. I think I paid like 25 cents a rod. Awesome. So I got a basket in there. That's not going to stay in there. I might put it in, take it out, take a rack out. I got the racks divided into four sections. So I can easily remove, you know, sections at a time for cleaning, maintenance purposes. But did you see the addition? This is the thing that's been bugging me for the longest. Is how am I going to mount those? Can you see it? This is a max spec uh, 130 watt 15k reef light. I had these... Uh, Orphic uh, strips. These are the blue plus strips. Well, in focus. The OR 260s. And it does not want to focus. There you go. So I got one on each side. This is the Max Spec uh, light. I got it on a trade for some live rock. Uh, I wanted to try out these uh, Orphic lights. They are kind of low to the tank. I really didn't want to uh, hang anything from the ceiling. I may try to extend these uh, legs to bring the lighting up higher. And if that's a fail, I might just go ahead and uh, hang them from the ceiling. But I have an Orphic OR260. 24 inch these are the blue plus versions on either side of the max spec figured out a way to mount them uh, if anybody wants to know more information about that i'll just give you a quick look uh, come with these brackets i had to modify uh, the screws i got some neoprene washers with a hard washer this up here is simply to keep Whole light from turning, twisting. There's another view of it from a different angle because there was only one screw hole uh, in the front corner. This is what I did. It feels pretty solid. They're mounted on there. 
It looks pretty level. It's just my filming skill. Uh, maybe the one on the left in the front needs to come up just a hair, but we'll play around with it. It may be too intense, but I'm super happy that I finally figured a way to mount these with being less invasive. I went and got some acrylic and was going to make these acrylic legs because nobody wanted to make them for me and have them come up and just sit on the acrylic legs, kind of like the new ADA style uh, freshwater tanks. You know, lighting, they got that acrylic legs. I really like the look of it. But we were able to come up with this, so I got this mangle of wires here. I'm going to try to get them all together and running off to one side. Be three cords for the lights. Like I said, it might be too much, but I felt like the max spec might be not enough, so we will see. There's your update for the day, guys. I need to go ahead and start gluing this dry plumbing, bust out the Varios 2 pump, get that thing set up. This is a Varios 4 pump. Um, this is going to be my backup pump for the Lagoon or the bolt the lagoon and the frag tank whichever if I need it um, there is the Varios 2 pump back there so we'll pull this guy out yeah right that's not a Varios 2 pump that's just the box from the one he had in his system already where 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 no it is Yeah, I'm gonna be pumping this bad boy up. There's a controller. Gives you a couple different options. It actually looks smaller than my other one. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's just because it doesn't have a cage on there. But instead of one inch. I am going to be putting a bushing in here. Don't hate on me. You should not restrict the flow. Yeah, well. Call the Barrios 2 police. Anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing. Thanks for watching. There's your update. Um, try to keep it short. I know it kind of turned into a long video, but support your local uh, fish group. Support Masna. Check out your fish shows. Check out my channel. Please, guys. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. Give me some comments, dude. Give me some feedback, man. What should I be doing? What can I do differently? What are your opinions? Am I a fucking idiot? Maybe. Been reefing for about 17 years now, and I'm still learning. I am no reef god. I've had my ups and downs. This tank here just happens to be the first softy tank I've ever set up. It's always been a mixed reef, but uh, let me know, guys. Give me some pointers and insight. What do you think I should do? Or tell me, here I'm a fucking idiot. You know, I'll tell you this much. I Due to graphic content, file. this part has been edited out. Red dot. I ain't no fake motherfucker. I'm straight up real. Keep it real. Um. If you don't like me, that's your personal opinion. I ain't no blood, I ain't no crip, I ain't no freaking gangster. I'm just some random, regular, cool guy. Or guy that thinks he's cool with the reef tank, so. Probably edit this part out, but if not, and it makes it in there, I apologize. Thanks for watching, guys. Quick look at Diego. He's pissed off. He wants some food. I'll hook him up in a minute, so. Hasta la próxima, Calypso. <laughs> uh, later, else. Later, uh, later, everybody else. And uh, look forward to another update. Uh, happy Halloween. Hope you have a great rest of your work week. And thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like button, thumbs down, comment. That'd be awesome. Thanks, guys.